Hello guys, today in this video I will show you a few methods to fix the crashing problem with Overwatch 2. So please follow the steps with me and let's jump into it. Okay, we need to open up settings. So to do that, just right click on Windows Start button and select settings. On the top, click on this one, change default graphics settings and open it up. Over here, make sure to turn off this option. Once you're done, then close this one and open up your command prompt. To do that, just open up the search bar and type in there CMD and make sure to run your command prompt as administrator. Type this command in the command prompt SFC space forward slash scan now and then press enter. If there are any bugs on your computer, this command will repair it. This process might take a bit of time, so once it's completed, then you can just close this one and open up your task manager. So to open up task manager right click on windows start button and select task manager over here you need to close all the application that is occupying space like google chrome or any other application that you're not using so all you need to do is just right click on the application and click on end task after you're done in here then click on details and look for overwatch 2 or battle.net then right click on it and set the priority to real time and once you're done, then click on this option, Startup Apps. Over here, you can disable any unnecessary programs on Windows Startup. So go through them and see which one you don't want it to be enabled. And the one you want to disable, just right click on it and select Disable. After that, go to search bar and type in there View Advanced System Settings and open it up. On the top, select Advanced tab, then next click on Settings. In here, make sure to select this option, adjust for best performance and then click on apply and OK. And the next solution is to change the graphic performance. So to do that, open up the search bar and type in the graphic settings. Click on browse to add Overwatch in the list in here. Then click on local disk C drive and open up program files x86. Look for Overwatch folder in here and open it up. Select the Overwatch launcher.exe and then click on add. Once you add it in here, then click on options and select high performance. And after that, click on save. And while you're here, click on Windows update. Then click on check for updates manually. And if there are any updates available like this one, click on download and install them. And after that, the next solution is click on gaming and open up game mode and make sure if the game mode is turned on turn it off the next method is to update your graphic card driver to do that right click on the start button and open up device manager in here double click on display adapters to expand it then right click on your graphic card and select update driver and now we need to click on search to my default drivers and if there is any available driver for you, your windows will scan it and find it for you. And the next solution, go to your local disk C drive and then program files x86 and look for overwatch folder and open it up. Then in here, open up retail folder. Right click on overwatch.exe file and select properties. Then on the top, click on compatibility tab and make sure disable full screen optimization is selected and after that click on ok once you're done go back to local disk c drive again and open up windows folder then in here look for system32 folder and open it up on the top in the search bar type rzchroma sdk64.dll or copy and paste from the video description and press enter then you will see RZ Chroma file in here and you need to delete it as this is causing a crashing issue. I have deleted my one that is the reason it's not showing in here. After you tried all the solution then restart your computer and open your game. If you are still having an issue then open the battle.net desktop app. In here next to play click on this option then select scan and repair and click on began scan. This will repair any missing or cropped files. Once the scan is completed, if it's showing update instead of play, then just click on update. After that, this should resolve the issue with your games. If not, then just go back to this option again and open up the game settings. In here, you will see this one, additional command line. 
So check this box and then from the video description there is a code. Just copy and paste it in here. And after that click on done. Okay so I hope this video helped you to resolve the crashing issue. And that's all. By the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Please consider supporting me and subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching.